Hi guys, welcome back. All right, so today we are doing a reading for the earth signs specifically on love and money. What is coming up for you? Uh, just a little peek. I will put the time stamps in the comment section below. I'll pin them for you. Guys, general reading, so we're, we do what we can here, okay? And uh, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, a link to my website is in the description box below. Apparently my kitty wants to make a cameo here. There could be, um, everything is an omen, so there could be something specific about cats to you. They could be um, giving you a message or someone, someone important to you may have a cat or rel that will be relevant in the coming weeks, okay? So let's go ahead. Um, now in the pre-shuffle when I was focusing on the earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I'm getting that, I kept hearing distance. So distance is, no, we're not going to get on the table. He's too large to get on the table, but he, he thinks, he thinks. Anyway, um, distance. I kept hearing something about distance, and I feel as if you're watching something from afar or keeping an eye on it, specifically. Because I kept hearing it. And then I was also getting that in the future, you may be driving towards someone. I feel you very much going towards someone. And it, this could be out of concern. Feels like you're going to be going to their personal space. So it could be their home. I mean, but for you, for everyone, it will it will vary it's some place of comfort some place that you know or is comfortable to that person but i am getting like watching from afar and then driving you will be going it's like you'll be guided to out of concern or hurt i'm, I'm not exactly sure you know what i'm Picking up in regards to that. But okay, so, um, and then I was also getting you earth sites could be dealing with coming up the, um, or there could be something about like a hostile woman, or maybe she appears hostile or aggressive. If hostile is too much of a, <laughs> it's too intense of a word, uh, she's gonna be very aggressive. The reason is, is that she's protecting herself. She feels that at least. However, I mean, it's possible that you could be the hot, but I'm feeling like you're encountering this individual or you will be encountering somebody that you're like, whoa, you are, but it's because they feel the need to protect themselves in general, perhaps from you, depending on if you, if you interacted with them before, I, I don't, again, the reasons will vary for all of you. Since we're doing a chunk, we're doing Earth sign. Oh boy, it's real general. Okay, so let's go ahead and first look into money, a career, what's going on there for you. I feel like a lot of you work a lot. You will be. All right, you know what's coming up, please? First, I'm going to do Taurus. Okay, we're doing Taurus first. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There's somebody you keep thinking about. You could almost feel like haunted by this person. Have I said this to you? This feels familiar, but I don't know. I mean, that feels like kind of deja vu. Haunted by someone. But it's, it's just their energy. It's not them around you. They're, I mean, their energy is, and you can feel it. Whether you believe in that or not, I mean, it's... They could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Um, what, but, but that's not... Okay, we're talking about... But I, 
I am getting very much that you're something's on your mind. This could be on your mind at work. Maybe that's why I'm getting that because I'm trying to do money and career first. All right. Um, or someone's work could play a factor in the situation. All right, universe, give me what is coming up for money and career for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Show me what is coming up. Money and career for Taurus in the coming weeks, please. Okay, so I'm hearing like a chance to start fresh. Some of you may be doing something new or maybe like a new department. Something is like changing. Something's going to be fresh in your job and you have to learn to balance this, which I feel like you will. I don't sense much worry for you in regards to that. There could have been some sort of, or no, there, okay. I'm almost feeling, Taurus, that uh, there, there's something that's going to happen here with the Tower card. It's going to shake things up. I want to say that you have a hand to play in this. There could be two people that are affected greatly by this decision. There could be a fire sign that leaves, uh, that leaves, that, because I'm getting like a, a falling out. There's some sort of change and you have a hand in it, but not in, um, it's almost like you're doing your job. You're, you're doing what you need to do. This is the pragmatic decision. This is the, for the longevity. But two people will be kind of devastated or affected by this. And one person may leave, actually, either temporarily or um, kind of release themselves from this entirely. Some of you uh, could work in the medical field or... Work potentially with your hands, something about mixing, blending. Um, uh, but I think all in all, Ten of Cups and the Judgment, you're making the right decision. You will make the right decision. There's something specific about a male and female partnership. You will even either have an opportunity to work with a male and female partnership. They may be a married couple, or this could be you. You may You may go into business with someone in your family and it's actually, it's a good decision. Some of you, this could be, it's just some sort of partnership, but I feel like it's a masculine and a feminine. It doesn't, but, and could be a married partnership or it could just be like, again, two different energies. Now, um, It's going to take time, though, for things to work out. But the, but the decision that you make, the, the hand that you play is the right one. 
is what I'm getting, if that makes any sense. I'm feeling like money, communication, opportunities will be high right now. I'm feeling, but you know, it's interesting because it's almost like there's something going on in a social dynamic between, it feels like three people and there's drama here. But you're, you're going to be fine, but there's an upcoming a boom. And again, somebody's going to be pretty... Well, they're going to walk away. They're going to release themselves. They're going to go find balance. Someone here is going to be, like I said, very affected by this. It's like you're parting ways. You will be parting ways with something. And the choice that you make is the right one. Some of you may work more independently. Some of you may choose a different job because the first card that came out was the fool, which is the strongest. So it's like, you know, that there's something about that going on here for you. Starting fresh, finding a new blend, something that you're not quite as familiar with. Because the old way is going to fall apart. But again, mostly for, for others. I feel a lot of stability. I mean, this is your card, Knight of Pentacles. I feel a lot of stability, longevity-wise, for you. Okay, so uh, we just you, you just might lose a compadre here or something. I don't know. It just depends on what each one of you do. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm ranting on and on and on, long-winded. All right, so let's go ahead real quick and switch over to love. Take a peek into love for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming up for love for Taurus? Uh, is this communication? See, there's that overall general earth sign energy that I was getting, Page of Swords, that watching, watching from a distance. So I'm guessing that one of you, you Taurus, are part of the watching from afar, or someone is watching you, could be an air sign. Whoever this is that you are watching or is watching you, I'm getting like a lack of, <laughs> this person is grumpy. They're not happy, they're not playing around. Whoever's being watched is not playing around. That could be why the other person is keeping their distance. Ken could be you. Five of Wands. Yeah, see, whoop, I didn't even see it. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Grumpy. This person is ready to argue if you would like to. And, but if it, but they're, I don't feel like they're speaking. Again, you may sense this from this person. Some of you may get like legal documents from them or there could be some paperwork that has to be done with this person. But again, it just feels like there's distance between you. And that could be a smart idea from the energy what I'm picking up, to be honest. What's coming up in love, please, for Taurus? I almost feel like love and money literally is separate for you. I'm, I'm, that's <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Um, I, I almost feel like your situation feels like a business partnership right now. What's coming up? Uh, Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Stability. Pragmatic, it makes sense. I'm getting like a married energy or committed energy for, for some people. Or if you are a single Taurus, this is literally you um, communicating with, it's like you, you have a close business partner here. And see again, I'm getting this masculine and feminine. So either your relationship is like business or you are communicating mostly about money, business, things like that. It's like, you know, um, my mind's on my money and money is on my mind type of deal. That's what I'm feeling from you. 
because then we go over here, Seven of Cups and uh, Princess of Cups. There's a, there's emotional unrest. There's confusion. There are um, misunderstandings, missed opportunities is what I want to say in regards to love. There is someone. There's, there's so much going on around you and there will be coming up. But uh, you feel very much secretly at mercy to the emotion of someone here. But it's almost like it lives in your mind only, Taurus. Because I'm getting this very, that could be why you're focusing more on this this pragmatic stability, mind on my money, money on my mind. There's a coldness over here, but it's stable. Where you're, it's almost like where your emotions lie in this moment. There's so much, there's just so much disappointment. And, and, and the masculine, I feel, misses the feminine. For those masculines that pray, they may at some point become so plagued by this that they will literally be praying at mercy to this. There's a lot of pain over here. Over, it feels like a love that didn't even really fully get off the ground to its potential because this is a princess of cups. There could be an emotional expression that happens in the coming weeks, but it still feels like there will be confusion plaguing this. Okay, because there's something that's resting here. Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone walked away from a toxic... And for those of you that are saying this could be a toxic family member too, you know, like... Love comes in many forms. You can imply it in whatever way this feels like home. Who makes you feel this way? Or, you know, again, the masculine. Whoever takes on this masculine energy. There will be a humbling of this masculine in the coming weeks. Okay? Mm, all right. So that's what I have here. For Taurus, let's go ahead and switch over to Virgo, shall we? Let's do Virgo. Hmm. I'm going to switch deck. Actually, no, I want to keep the same deck. I'll just shuffle it. It wants me to keep the same deck. Okay. Universe, show me what's going on, please. What's coming up in career and money. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on, please, for credit and money? Coming up. I keep wanting to say going on. It's probably going to show me a blend. That's fine. You may feel like there's some sort of block in getting what you really want or block in doing what you really want to do. Or maybe like what you thought you wanted seems more difficult um, yeah, a little bit of obstacles here, but you can get what you want, Virgo is what they're saying. All right, what's coming up, please, universe, show me what's coming up for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in money and career. Nope, that is too many. You could have a job opportunity, though, or some sort of opportunity with uh, an energy that's real hard to please. Sounds good. Hmm. Okay, so whatever the, you're going to feel very chained. I kept seeing this when, when I was shuffling just now. The devil. 
you feel very bound to whatever it is you're doing. It may require a lot of your time. You may, I mean, like long hours. You, it's almost like you might feel in the coming weeks that you can't get away. But there is money here. However, I feel you wanting to go somewhere else. It's almost like you wanting, um, but you you can't. Your 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 boss. If you for those of you that have a boss, I'm just kidding. You're going to be tied to your work in the coming weeks. But you will do well with this. There's things going on at your work that are not right. It feels like. There's something that's like not of code or being un swept under the table. It's almost, what I'm getting is like a front type of deal for some of you. There's like a, sounds strange, but like levels of business, you know, uh, what the public see. And then there's also another form of business going on behind it. Or there's something going again, something funky. Something is a little funky here. I'm getting very much a new opportunity. Some of you may have just recently got a new job or you will be getting an opportunity to do so. All right. Money and career, what's coming up? What else is coming up for Virgo? should be okay. I am getting a fairly independent energy. It seems like so far for earth signs, stability, like money is, is going all right. The energy is heavy though. Again, I'm getting a demanding boss, a lot of messages, a lot of stuff coming on your phone. Your phone may be like swarmed with work drama, work talk, work uh, rules, regulations. I'm just getting messages or emails. Again, you're very stuck on this. There could be a policy change. And I want to say that the policy change isn't really that good for the employees. Okay, and then I, I'm, let's see. Yeah, news of a policy change. Death card and Eight of Wands. And then I have the Magician and the Seven of Swords. Be very careful of this. Remember, I was saying something weird is going on under. Somebody is doing. Something that they shouldn't be. Now, I do want to forewarn you for those of you Virgos, because this is the magician. You could, it could be an air sign mm, that's doing something. Gemini, maybe. The, but the magician can also be your energy. Be very careful on what you're doing here, because... I don't feel that this is you. I feel like it's someone else, but I'm just getting that this King of Cups energy, they hold back, they don't say anything, but they're, they're very intuitive. They know what's going on, they can sense it. But they will hide their cards. This person holds, holds their cards close to their chest here, so just... I feel as if someone may be stealing or do, I, I don't know. I just don't trust. 
or they're not a trustworthy person that's surrounding your job. If this is a customer or an employee. And you especially cannot trust them is what I feel like. But the King of Cups is it already knows. Okay, this person will know. You're going to find out. This might make sense, you know, again, later because it's supposed to be coming up. But there's something you may hear about someone... I'm just kidding, either stealing or doing something illegal, doing something against the rules. Uh, yeah, something along these lines. Okay, let's go ahead and check into you for love. What's coming up for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love in the coming week? What's coming up for Virgo? Someone may be emotionally closed off. This person may travel. I'm getting like the, uh, there's like a energy of traveling here. The traveling person or the person, they're inconsistent or they're closed off, something like that. Whether that's you or someone you're dealing with. I just don't feel like they're close to your home for some reason. Or not always. Does that make any sense? You may be traveling away from home. All right. It's coming up in love for Virgo. <laughs> All right. Well, that's hmm. seven of wands, two of swords. Of uh, defensive energy. It's not feeling like a whole lot of movement here. Again, guarded. So guarded. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's interesting because someone may not want to let go of you, but they're super closed off. It's like, no, I don't want to let go, but I don't I don't have any plans to really move forward either. Or that's what the energy that you're picking up. Two of Pentacles. You could be very like, mm. I get that a lot's up in the air. Some of you may be deciding between two people. I'm going to clarify this, Two of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. You could be putting more focus on your money right now. Or the things that you have to do. Clarify this two of pentacles for love coming up for Virgo. What is this? Okay. I'm, I'm with the emperor at the bottom of the deck. It, it, the energy feels very uh, not trying to be too emotional. Someone here is not focusing on emotions. Could be you. Could be both of you, actually. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Three of Swords. There's something about like hurtful words or there's just someone that doesn't think about your feelings. But I, you know what's weird though, is it's like, I'm getting this person caused you hurt. And they don't show a lot of emotion about it really. But with the Ace of Pentacles, it's like out of nowhere. This knight is, again, he just does things. He, not fully without things. So things could be random. It's like one minute there's hurt. The next minute there's the Ace of Pentacles. 
It's like, okay, what's going on? So I'm feeling somebody coming in to make you an offer or an air, you know, someone here. I mean, unless this is your energy, but <laughs> unless this, this is you doing this Virgo, but I've seen someone coming out of nowhere after, after hurt feelings, hurt, hurt words are exchanged and making some sort of gesture here. Ace of Pentacles. I feel as if this person hurt you, but however it applies. They might watch you on social media. I'm, you can see here I'm getting the, the Page of Swords and the Three of Cups. Someone is like watching what you're doing while you're interacting with other people or however you expose yourself. Feels like masculine, feminine energy here. So however that goes, can. Also, there could be an individual, fire or air perhaps, that sees you in some sort of social setting and they hold back that they're watching you. I feel as if, you know, there's someone that wants to approach here. There's someone that wants to kind of make a move, but you could be surrounded by other people. It's like they're deciding how to approach you. So there's, right now they're watching. I feel like because they don't know how you're going to react or, or you know, again, this, this, he doesn't know how, it's a little intimidating. There's three of them there, but he's defensive a little bit. Kind of feels like they're not a new person. Like you may know of them if you've dealt with them before or not, but just doesn't feel brand new. It feels like someone kind of want, but they're just not sure who, how to approach you. So, yeah. All right. Uh, okay. It's a little strange for me. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go to Capricorn. So hopefully they're making sense to you guys. Cause... Well, they're coming up. So I keep, I keep going back to that. All right. Universe, let's go ahead and switch to Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's coming up for Capricorn? Money and career in the coming weeks. Money and career in the coming weeks for Capricorn. Okay, alrighty. You might have to go and do something again. Nine of Wands. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign that has high expectations, or you will be. There's a lot of work, a lot of burden, stress here. So um, you, it, you also may be overloaded in work in the coming weeks. And if it's not that you're overloaded with work, your personal life is weighing on you. You could have a lot of responsibilities. A lot of things that you're dealing with here. Um, some of you could, I don't, not all of you have children, but for those of you that do, you could have a lot of the responsibility that almost feels like you're doing it by yourself here, whether you are or not. But, okay, let's see. However, the hard work and the burden that you put in, everything that you're carrying, there's going to be an opportunity from it. Judgment and the star card. You will be recognized for something that you do or pre appreciated. I'm feeling like with the Seven of Pentacles and Princess of Pentacles, you could have been waiting for an offer to come in. And I think that it will with the star card. You will get um, some work that you wanted here. 
that has potential with the seven of pentacles over time to build your build your finances grow more you know yeah there could be news of a way to bring in some other money here or news of things sort of balancing out. I do feel as if you've had to wait and, and there's some, you know, the energy may start off a little tough, but you're strong and if you hang in there, you know, the workload is heavy. The burden is heavy. But the universe recognizes judgment. I, I think of Saturn, it's like fixed energy, but I also think of Saturn when I think of judgment often. And, you know, you have Saturn ruling so they see you, okay? There will be healing to your situation. There will be the ability to regrow what you have lost and things like that. Princess of Pentacles might start off small, but give it time, okay? Seven weeks, things could be a little bit more solid for you, okay, Capricorn? Pretty much what I'm getting in regards to career. Now let's go ahead and switch to love. Universe, show me what's coming up for love for the Capricorn in the coming weeks. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus coming up in love. You could, you could have a lot of focus on stability, really. Like, stability could be your main thing that you're working on, personally and financially. You may have brought an ending to this with the Magician and the Tower card. I'm feeling like an action that you took or that you will take is going to bring, like, a very big moment. you. All right. All right. What's coming up, please? Capricorn in love. Coming up for Capricorn in love. Okay. It's too many. Either arguments about work or like work drama or arguments about money. And I don't know if this is just affecting your household or your connections. I'm not sure. It's almost like you could be emotionally distracted. All right, love. Show me love for Capricorn. All right, well, three of cups. Dating, uh, going out, enjoying yourself, socializing, feels pretty good. The energy doesn't feel too bad here. You could, I, I'm, I am seeing you being more social in the coming weeks. And for those of you that are dating someone, you will be going out with the person that you're passionate about. I want to say that, you know, there will be a lot of passion, um, Especially if there's drinking involved with you and this individual. For those of you that are, are single, you you could potentially meet someone, meet someone that is look that is stable, that is looking for commitment, that is this king knows what he wants, and he he likes to be single usually, but there's something about this king in particular that is uh, he's either been married before or he understands the value of stability is what I'm feeling. So, again, whoever takes on this King of Wands energy, the masculine energy, I feel as if this will be, you know, and this can be a female too, for those of you Capricorns that are males and you're looking for a female, whatever, but it's coming up as masculine, so. But, yes, fun with a, with a fire sign. Aries of Sagittarius could be water as well. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um... 
But I'm feeling a lot of stability. I'm feeling this person kind of being there for you, kind of backing you up. I, I mean, I like it. Now, I will say that uh, for those of you that are in connections, the feminine could be feeling a little bit left out or there's something going on in the feminine's life. Maybe they're the home. I'm getting home. They're feeling left out at home. I don't know why. Again, there could be family drama, personal things going on with this feminine. And the King of Wands, the only thing I sense here is that. And then the King of Wands maybe being out socializing while the feminine is like at home feeling not so good about something going on. And again, this could have to do with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, which would be, you know. So it could, it, it, I, because I'm not getting fighting or anger going on in a connection. I'm getting that the feminine is, is, hurting a little bit is a, is sort of at a crossroads not sure to, what what to do with uh, perhaps a family member or someone they care about that's what i'm getting all right it's pretty cut and dry okay so that's we're closing it off for the earth signs bye-bye guys i don't know what that was bye-bye but whatever okay <laughs>